what's going on with you it's your girl linda lynn i thought about coming on here all done up here and me like makeup hair looking a little bit better but i was like you know what i'm gonna just cut the camera on and i'm gonna talk to y'all and just keep it 100 like what's really been going on so in all honesty i just feel like the excitement behind purchasing natural hair products it has dissipated and we can you know we could agree to disagree but from a lot of the brands this year who have launched products it has not been to where a lot of us went cuckoo caca behind purchasing a lot of products now from this recent black friday i know a lot of people who are still waiting to receive their packages and a lot of those packages are from small black owned businesses so who create natural hair care products so i just want to say kudos to a lot of the small black owned businesses who are holding it down and who are literally trying their hardest to just make it through this year with sanity grace and the utmost respect and love for their consumers and overall for their supporters now let me say this i really have gotten to the point to where when brands drop hair products i'm just kind of like i don't really know if i want it especially if they're already in retail i'm just kind of like because it has not been anything exciting this year and people people know this and a lot of influencers i can say it hasn't really been something that triggered me before a lot of influencers um since the pandemic had happened they were kind of frustrated because more retail and larger big brands big box natural hair care brands were working with celebrities and i'm like but it's expected because we already know that these celebrities are celebrities are also influencers and they also can get us to purchase things and also spend money on things that they take part in like movies um skincare products for commercials all kind of things so for me i wasn't really like feeling any type of way about seeing tiana taylor seeing um one of the ladies from Mary Mary, I forgot her name, seeing all of these ladies literally, you know, promote hair care products. But I really can see how it was really triggering to a lot of influencers because this was a year of pay me what I'm worth. You know, if you're going to pay a celebrity X and O amount of money to get something done for you and you, you, you know, you second guessing paying an everyday girl or guy that, you know, just what they're asking for. That's when it's just like, really really but a lot of girls haven't been talking about it a lot of guys haven't been talking about it it's just been kind of like mm. you just on Insta on instagram just swiping and just strolling on about your business for me i'm at a place right now to where i'm just content with what i'm trying to do and also where i'm trying to go at because i just feel like the natural hair game is almost exhausted for a lot of influencers via youtube and kind of like on instagram but i mean there's new faces popping up every single day so it's kind of like i love seeing newer girls just popping up and doing their thing and just discovering women who literally can just put me on to new things and just inspire me that's been the beauty of it so overall for 2021 i just want to be good to my hair i want to be extremely good to myself and I just want to continue to just love and embrace my hair and myself for everything that I am. And I want to really, for my hair, I want to just embrace and love every stage of it. Because, you know, like every two to three months, your hair just go. You know, sometimes, especially when you didn't cut it, when you didn't cut it, you really can see it just blossom. You know, even if you just did like a little trim, it's like you just really start to see the impact of your growth and i think that's just the beauty of it for 2021 i just want to embrace the beauty of everything that i am so i'm really going to be anticipating that i will be taking my vitamins i will be drinking my water i will be eating better and on top of that i am just going to be letting go of anything or anyone who's trying to hinder me or hurt me or just put me under depression i don't need none of that because all of that can lead to what hair loss and you up there going through all kind of unnecessary stress and having all these burdens on you i don't need that 
I want to keep my edges in 2021 as long as possible, baby. I want some full beautiful edges and I do not want to be using too many heavy gels on my edges just to prove that I have them slicked and laid back. It's just the beauty of it. You feel what I'm saying? It's just the beauty of growth that I really want to embrace. Not saying that, you know, you putting Eco Styler Gel or whatever Gorilla Snot or Edge Boost on your gel on your edges, you know, make them look bad. I'm just saying for me. I don't want for that to be my signature staple of I'm confident. I feel good. I just want to be able to embrace that. Like right now, I was like, I ain't going to get on camera with my hair looking a little picky. But look, it is what it is. And so I'm stepping into that right now. And that's what's making me smile already. Like it's really making me glow. So most importantly, I just want to wrap this video up and just say that after the year I didn't had this year from just speaking my mind on whatever it could have been I don't want to you know I don't want to go there you feel what I'm saying after the year I didn't had it has really shown me that of course I am more than just my hair my voice is powerful and most importantly my truth and my position and my presence on where I stand at on anything behind any principle I will not fold I will not shake and even if I have tears running down my face, I am not going to back away from standing on what I know is a true undeniable principle of this is, baby, ain't no other way. You know, you don't got to see it my way, but hey, it is what it is. You know, I'm not stepping into trying to be, again, a people pleaser. I was a people pleaser at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, I'm just like, baby, I wash my hands with it. I'm through. And with this natural hair community, I just am very much so excited to see where is it going to go for 2021. Because a, a lot of the girls who I was watching at the beginning of the year didn't fell off. And a lot of y'all know it too. You heard me? So it's like the content no longer the same. It's like a lot of girls just dropping the content for the coin these days. And you can tell from the quality of the content as far as when they get on camera and present themselves you can tell the energy kind of off but a lot of them just doing it so they could keep that money coming and them, and, and look i ain't hating on nobody you hear me i'm just saying baby it you can people can tell and people can read you like a book on camera your body language how you present yourself as far as doing your hair how you talk about your hair people pay attention and they read that shit so if you can't own the fact that you're not feeling too good or you're not feeling too bright don't cut that camera on you know like people just really been real true actors this year within this natural hair community on camera and it's just been it's been crazy you hear me so one of the most important things I took away from a lot of the other girls who do natural hair uh, content who have bigger numbers than me is, look, the show must go on. <laughs> I took it. I was like, baby, the show must go on. No matter how crappy you may feel, no matter if you're getting dragged from here to Timbuktu, baby, the show must go on. And when you apply that into your everyday life, and you really realize that, baby, even though I'm, I'm catching hell at my job, I'm catching hell in my household, baby, the show must go on. And I'm going to get my piece. So if that piece is you working your tail off to meet a quota at the end of the month, that's all on you. But if you literally are still putting in your all, putting in your best, people dragging you, are you feeling like your content ain't good enough and you still going forward? Baby, that confidence, it's, it's going to sparkle. It's going to give off something good. So, I just want to say kudos to everybody who have been dragged throughout 2020. And they were able to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and keep it on going. You heard me? It, it's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of the show still going on. So, yay! You know, and I just want to say... If there are any influencers who are feeling any type of way about these celebrities promoting these hair care brands that a lot of us carried on our backs in the humble beginnings of YouTube doing product reviews for free 99 and now they got the celebrities doing it. All I want to say is to do what you do as an influencer or just as a 
creator, continue to do what you do. And don't pay too much attention to what these celebrities are out here doing. If you are a consumer, be mindful, be wise, and pay attention and peep game. Because it's all a game of charades and all the game for the coin. The almighty dollar at the end of the day. Because a lot of these celebrities are just like me and you. And they are like me and you. They just got extra money and celebrity status behind their names. A lot of them don't take care of their hair. A lot of them don't know how to properly shampoo, condition, deep condition. A lot of them don't know how, don't, don't know how to properly detangle their hair or style. And let that style last for at least three to five days. So all I want to say is just be mindful. Peep game. And just keep it pushing. And, and, and everybody will be happy in the end. Because it, it don't make no sense to stress over what these people out here doing to make a dollar. And, you know, wondering why you are inadequate to what they're doing. Of course, if you put yourself on a scale and compare yourself to a million dollar, point five million dollar celebrity who promoting some little hair care, hair care products that you probably have in your stash. And that brand don't want to work with you, baby. It's just time to understand, look, you either going to cut ties with the brand or just ignore it. All together and use your products in peace and quiet no camera rolling and just be and just let it go because it's, it's really nothing you can say it's really nothing you can do because you can't stop nobody from getting their money you know what I mean so anywho I'm signing on out of this piece now if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them in a the comment box below and I would love to talk to you so I'm up out of this piece. I hope that, you know, y'all enjoy the rest of 2020 and that y'all make the most of it. So, I'm up out of here. Bye.